His voice is legendary. You must think I'm stupid. But tonight, the San Diego man who was once the voice of Charlie Brown is facing charges involving a former girlfriend, a plastic surgeon, and breast enhancement. The man behind that voice is accused of stalking and making death threats. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is downtown with a bizarre series of crimes that don't jibe with the cartoon character at all. Peter Robbins did not seem at all like his Charlie Brown character here in court today as he was charged with 12 felony counts, all of them contained in this document, which says it all started after he paid for his girlfriend's breast enhancement surgery. This year I'm really going to kick that football. It's a scene that's classic Charlie Brown, but 56-year-old Peter Robbins has fallen far from his Peanuts character, according to prosecutors, who filed this court document that says he threatened to kill both his girlfriend, Shauna Kern, and her La Jolla plastic surgeon, Dr. Lori Saltz. Why? Because he wanted to get back the $6,000 he paid for breast enhancement surgery. There were multiple death threats that were made against them. Both of them were in fear for their safety. Um, and we believed that he posed a danger and asked for bail to be set accordingly. Bail was set at $550,000, an amount that Robbins' attorney called exorbitant. He's never been in trouble with the law. But if Mr. Robbins was truly a threat to the community, surely at some point we would have encountered a problem with the law before. And it's never happened because Mr. Robbins is an eccentric individual, but he's not a threat to the community. Neighbors at this modest Oceanside condo complex where Robbins lived were stunned to learn of his arrest, but camera shy. Seemed harmless and just a really nice, quiet guy. Hard to believe the man who walked his dog through their complex and who they knew as Charlie Brown could be capable of death threats. Robbins pleaded not guilty to the charges. If he's convicted, he faces up to nine years behind bars. From the Hall of Justice downtown, Allison Ash, 10 News.